Cape Town Studios by world-renowned South African actress Sue Ann Bourne. Good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Thank you very much, and thank you for that lovely introduction. <laughs> you know, Sam, it's I'm lovely to be here, even though it's very early. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for braving the early morning. But let's start with the last time that we, you were here on Morning Live, because you came to speak about a production that you were in. Is I Have Life? How did it go? It, I'm so delighted to say that it went fantastically. We had standing ovations every night. We were sold out. And my great, great, great hope now is to bring the show to Cape Town, to Port Elizabeth, Grahamstown, London, New York, who knows. But I'm so delighted that we, we truly had a sensational run. So thank you, Joe Berg. All right, stunning stuff. So we look forward to hearing the update with that production, I Have Life. Let's chat a little bit about Jenna now, because you guys are going to embark on raising funds for her and the trust that she has. It's an amazing story. What is the latest on her condition? Um, well, at the moment, as you said, Jenna is, uh, it, it's, it's not great in the sense that she is waiting for a bilateral lung transplant, which means a double lung transplant. And that's sort of been uh, the end of the road in, in terms of a very, very long journey for her family. She was diagnosed at 16, out of the blue. They're dear family friends of mine. Jenna is a, a beloved, beloved child, uh, was up until she was 16, a completely normal, active teenager. And just like that, she was diagnosed with this very red disease, which is primary pulmonary hypertension. Uh, and it is a degenerative disease. And at the moment, there is no cure. So we are praying and hoping that we can raise some funds because the medical costs are exorbitant. And her parents, Gabby and Stuart Lowe, have been tireless in their campaigning and trying to get awareness for the condition and to raise the, those valuable funds. So we are hoping that what we do on Sunday will rally the troops and, and get enough money for Jenna to get a pair of lungs to give her and prolong her life. So you are family friends with her family. Is that how you came to know about the plant? Uh, it is indeed. In fact, when I was here for I Have Life, um, I'd come to South Africa, I think it was in March or April, and we were doing auditions in Johannesburg for the other actors, and I came down to Cape Town to see my family, and Gabby and I had a lunch, and we were talking about, because, you know, fundraising is tough, and we understand and respect that, that people... Everybody gets to the point where they're like, oh, I've got to give more money for something else. <laughs> and we were trying to find innovative ways to, to raise funds for Jenna and be creative. And one of the things that I know about is entertainment. So I can't help in any other way. And I said, why don't we try and rally the best of South African entertainment for one night only, do like a celebrity Sunday, a proper old fashioned variety concert. And that is what we're doing. And I'm so delighted to say that the tickets are practically sold out. I literally think we've got something like 50 tickets left. Um, Marianne Tam is going to be the MC. The brilliant Alan Committee is going to do, be doing what he does best, which is make us all laugh. We've got singers. We've got dancers. I mean, it's going to be a night to remember. So you say that there's only 50 more tickets left. Yes. <laughs> so buy them today. <laughs> How will this help other people that are also in need of medical assistance? Because Jenna Lowe's story is one that we highlight this morning, but we know that there are many, many other young children out there that have also got very rare conditions. How do you think that Sunday's concert will help to benefit those? Well, firstly, I think that raising awareness for any kind of rare disease is a miraculous thing to do because one of the obstacles that Gabby and Stuart and, in fact, the entire family, Jenna and her sister Christy, have faced is that there's been so little knowledge um, and so little access in this country because we just don't have the medicines because it's so rare. They've mm. had to fight to get the medicines for Jenna into the country. And I think um, how it will help is to raise awareness for any form of rare degenerative disease and of course in this instance we are trying to raise money to get her a pair of lungs and South Africa unfortunately has one of the lowest organ donation rates in the world so and it costs nothing to register you know you can go online to www.odf uh, organdonationfund.coza and sign and that's it that's all it takes five minutes of your time and that by signing up you could save somebody's life you could give them a pair of lungs a kidney, whatever. Uh, and so I think in that sense, it, it's dramatically helpful to highlight all those things that people, 
there's so little knowledge. And today also, I think, with the internet, with Twitter, with Facebook, with this, the world being a kind of global village, we can all help each other through the power of social media and knowledge. And so if I gain knowledge about a disease, then I can pass it on to another family and so and so and so on. Absolutely. It certainly does work like that. Thank you very much, Sue Ann Braun. And all the best of luck for Sunday's performance. Thank you so much. And thanks very much for having us. You guys have been such uh, active campaigners for, for us, and I, I appreciate that very much. All right, so I just want to give you those details again. Uh, odf.co.za, and that's the website where you can go and just register if you would like to be an organ donor. I myself have uh, been privileged to go and watch the World Transplant Games, where all of those people who have actually had organ donations and that have had transplants for any organ, they actually come and compete, and it's the most amazing thing. They actually say that they're competing to show the person that that they gave that who gave them life that they appreciate the gift that they have given them so really organ donation is something that we need to highlight in the country and we heard it in the Jenna Low there's something that they're highlighting this weekend so if you'd like to register as an organ donor very easy www.odf.co.za all right so that's how we